Introducing our new Stalker Legend travel bag. The ideal bag to accompany you on your next adventure. We've made that out of a very strong nylon, so it'll resist against a lot of knocks that you do get while you're traveling. Put your uh, business card in there so you're gonna know whose bag it is. Uh, they're accompanied by TSA approved locks on all the uh, areas that you can get into there. So there, it's an ideal uh, safety precaution. On the, fr on the front, we've got a small compartment which is ideal to put uh, boots, waders, that's separated from the main compartment, which uh, is in here, which you might put a lot of your clothes, um, you know, all your accessories, etc. On the, the bottom compartment is also an area which is ideal for your rods. You might have vests, backpacks, uh, fly boxes, reels, whatever you need. And just to uh, give you an indication, that's a 10 and a half foot rod a 10 foot rod and a nine foot. They all fit pretty easily there. So it's an ideal bag to carry everything that you're gonna need. It also has an extendable handle in aluminium and on wheels. So much uh, easier to get around. And if you come across some areas where you're going to need to, to carry it, it also comes with a carry strap. So you can just whack it over your shoulder and keep moving and you're gonna arrive at where you need to be with everything all intact. So. The Stalker Legend travel bag, one you're going to love to own. Yep. Whoa. He comes. Yeah. Funny how a day pans out. <laughs> G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley Fly Fishing. Welcome to another episode of On the Fly. Today we're uh, with Justin from uh, Right Inside Charters, which is uh, a guiding operation in New Smyrna Beach. Yeah, it's about uh, an hour, to, hour and a half from Orlando. Right, about an yeah, hour, just under an hour. Yeah. yeah, New Smyrna Beach, Space Coast area. Yeah, so it's an amazing thing. If you're over here, go and uh, have a look at the um, the NASA, there's plenty to see here, oh, yeah. and you duck out here for a, for a day's fishing. It's pretty amazing. You've got a lot on offer. I mean, it's Florida is well known for its um, tarpon, which is an amazing fish in itself. But you've also got redfish, um, black drum, black drum, large sea trout. Some of the largest sea trout where they live is yeah. here. You know? Yeah, yeah, residents yep. of the spot. So. It's an, and it's an amazing fishery. You just look around, there's just an endless, endless supply of water. Yeah, and I mean, with that and a bunch of wildlife to look at yeah. throughout the day while we're fishing too, so. Yeah. We had an early start this morning. She was pretty tough. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of the footage there. We uh, managed to hook a couple and lose them, but anyway, that's a different story for another time. But we've come in now to Mosquito Lagoon, mm -hmm. um, which hopefully will have some, some red fish and some reasonable size ones as well, and yeah. a few other species that'll be catering around there as well. Right. Yeah. So the main thing is just finding them first and then yep. hope for the best. After and that. I think that's what fly fishing is about. Sight, if you can find them, mm -hmm. see them, then you're half a chance. And it comes down to the angler. Yeah, unfortunately. I've been blaming the guide for most of the day, but I think I might have a bit to do with it. But, I uh, think you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a new experience. It's something that you really want to do. Once you get here, you can see some of the size of these fish. They're pretty incredible. So uh, mm -hmm. we'll see if we can't get a, a few of them and have a look up close. Yeah, definitely. Initially, if that fish doesn't jump and you get bit, strip strike hard. Yeah. And then when he jumps, you're going to have to, you know, remember, just lean forward. Yeah, should put some slack right, in because I won't be excited once the tarpon yeah. hits the fly. I won't be excited. I'll remember all that. So you saw where they came up. They were going left. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to try to predict where they are now. They're not moving fast. Yep. That looks good. Good. 
Oh, he's to your right more. You see him snaking right yep. there? Come right, 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 right. Good. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Pop, 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 pop. properly. Two. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Nearly. On, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Let's get tight. Bump it. Come on. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that was good. Oh, and uh, let it go. Now, um, <laughs> Justin said a couple of things. When it takes it, strip strike. And when it jumps, get ready, because you've got to let the line go and bow to it and give it to it. And I said, I said, you know, I'm going to be a bit excited once I get the first hit. Well, that was the first hit. And I was probably a little bit excited then, Justin, and off it You uh, stayed went. stiff and tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. So um, that's pretty exciting. My heart's still going now, though. So <laughs> this is tarpon fishing. Uh, it's amazing, we're just getting Justin now, he's piling us uh, around these waters and you're seeing these tarp and roll and they look massive but you know to an Australian everything looks massive over here so um, they're incredible fish and we're putting a, a popper like a gurgler in front of them and just sort of popping them along there and um, like that's what's supposed to happen except maybe with a better angler we might have caught that one but uh, or at, least, at least kept them on a, a little longer. Well that's right, a little yeah. Like Tarpon fishing, you don't count the catches, you count the jumps. How many fish you jumped that day? Well, I because normally count how many I scared, so we'll count how many jumps we get. That's yeah, right. that's yeah. your success. Good work. Thanks, and if mate. you land them, that's that's a bonus. Perfect. Yeah. You oh. see the way he was pushing up behind it? Yeah. Yeah, that Good. was that was textbook. trying to get a little a bit lighter maybe they'll start rolling again yeah better than some of these other ones I saw rolling in here. Yeah. A little tarp in there. 11 o'clock. Going right. Good. Right there? Yep. Perfect. Knock it down quick. Exactly, exactly. 
And we're just putting, basically you just lean out towards the fish when he jumps. Jumps, yep. Give him the rod tip. Right yeah. So we've gone up to, this is the Indiana River. Mm -hmm. And this is where a couple of little uh, uh, areas flow together and it's brought a bit of bait fish, which has brought these little tarp on here as well. Yeah, this is like their little estuary, small tarpon. Yeah. And they grow obviously quite big. Like tarp on, you can get them to you know, six footers. Yeah. This one's a little bit less than six foot, but you know. They look the same no matter the size though. Yeah. The yeah. details and the fish and the scales and the profile of the face is the sure. same if it's this size or if it's 300 pounds. Yep. Just on a little bait fish pop a fly, they'd take that as a small little mullet or something like that. Is yep. that what they'd eat that for? And even though there's a little one, I'm playing it a little bit uh, more gently because we haven't caught a tarp on as yet. So we don't want to get too carried away with our uh, ability yet. Justin, do we? No. No. <laughs> you can be a little more aggressive afterwards. Yeah. On the next one. Now oh, he ended oh, up re -hook. he hooked, yeah. he hooked himself. He may have thrown the hook. Yep. But that's, uh, you'll have a little closer look if uh, Justin can show you there. Well, they've certainly got a mouth for eating bait fish, haven't they? Yeah. This lovely golden color, or silver color. Yeah, you get more golden too when they're uh, in this brackish water like yes. this. Yes. Nice looking scale pattern here. Yeah. Call that center scale pattern that it looks like a, a nickel. Probably not an Australian nickel, but yeah. It's an amazing place down here. You've got waterways as you've seen where we've come in, huge expanse, perhaps some bigger tarp on, uh, and then up to this little waterway where you've got some perhaps smaller ones and also like some other you get some snook um, and then various other places we can go to redfish so there's quite a variety of fishing that you can do here so uh, yeah here. this little area that we're in right now is a, a nursing ground for like these smaller tarpon until they get up to about the 30 40 pound range yeah and then snook up to six to eight pounds yeah cool yeah so. but you wouldn't get sick of catching those no Peter Lagoons roughly 25,000 acres mixed up with islands and, uh, and water uh, average depth is three feet so typically, most of the time, we're targeting our fish anywhere from four feet of water to six inches of water. Yeah. So, so we're going to look for these fish free swimming over the grass. So you're trying to look for that uh, silhouette of a fish in an orange hue. Here, right here, 10 o'clock, longer. How'd he get down? Try a different retrieve, like tick, 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 shorter. Is he turned? Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Trip, 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 fast, 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 fast. Look at that fish coming at it. Oh. He was on that. Yeah. Did you see him? And also, we'll find these fish stationary. We call them, uh, you know, they're nosing in the grass, um, almost like waiting just to ambush anything that they want to eat that comes by. No matter the size, they bite hard and. They pull pretty good, yep. no matter their size. I think that's why they're so sought after. These fish are going to be ultra sensitive to any kind of noise we make moving around, so keep that in mind. Plenty of bird life over here too. Oh yeah, this uh, lagoon system is known for over 300 different species of birds that migrate through here in and out of the year. Wow. These are wading birds here. You have a few egrets and great blue herrings.
nice. Look at that. That's what I was looking for. <sighs> So it looks like they're all kind of balled up face and right. So yep. I don't want you to be over aggressive. So when you when you throw out, get it to the right of the fish or wherever we need to put it. Yep. You're gonna work the fly just like you were working the other one. Yeah. Just little bumps like this. Yep. Get the line tight, bump it. Yep. Not super fast. And if you feel something, just keep stripping the fly like you're yep. trying to feed them still sure. until you feel them pull. Because they can take little. Uh, some quick swipes at it. I don't want yeah. you to miss the strike. If you can reach them, you want to see where the outside part of the group is so you don't throw the fly line over. Yeah, strip the line in. Very good. And you can virtually drop that fly right in those fish. Just don't lay the fly line itself over okay. top of them. You gotta be short there, but work it away. Oh, you're in fish. Keep coming back. I think he still fell behind. You need to be on the right side and fairly tight to those fish. Get inside of them good. There you go. Let it sink down. Start coming tight. Bump, 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 bump. We're redfish fans, finally in these sort of southern states. Anywhere from, uh, they catch small ones up as far north as uh, Delaware, and then all the way, all the way down to uh, the Texas coast. Yep. Let me just stake the boat off, just play them there for a minute. Yep. Now it's interesting, this one is, is probably uh, it's a bitch, I don't care, I'll be happy about it. But some of the ones that we were casting to early this morning were like, yeah. They could nearly eat that fish. Yeah. I'm pretty keen to see one of these up close. Beautiful color Beautiful. on this fish. Yeah. First redfish on the fly rod. Yeah. Spot, single spot, two spots on that side. I say that's Mother Nature's way of helping them flee away from predators like dolphins. They'll think dolphins will eat this head first. Yep. Dolphins will think that that's an eye, they'll go for the tail. Uh, Gives them a second to get away. Yep. Oh, Beautiful. Give it a couple of pounds, lovely redfish. First one, they all count. And uh, get his breath back the same. There's no current, but uh, they just get some of that water through their gills and let him simmer away. Good to go. Beautiful. There you go. Took a while. Like it's uh, that's not as easy as what I thought, mate, but um, it's still stimulating. I think we use the word it's not uh, frustrating, it's challenging, you know, because you can see the fish and they're not always going to take it, but... Yeah, it comes down to presentation. Yeah. They, what? <laughs> <laughs> Your presentation was good, apparently. Oh, uh, at that time it was. Yeah. The other times, not so much, but I think it's so stimulating because you can see it. We've been drifting along and you'd see one, try and get a cast in front, and then you come across a school like that. There's probably, there could be 15, 20 fish in amongst those, and... Um, yeah, well, I suppose that adds a bit of aggression too when they're feeding. Oh, definitely competition you know, so feed. Yeah, certainly help. So. And all those fish, the way we saw them, they're they're all trying to feed at the yeah. same time. So yeah. anything moving out in front of them like that, they're gonna Good. typically take. That's fine. I wonder if I should switch you back over to that crab pattern. Let's do that real quick. Yeah. That bait fish pattern is good for to find these fish singled out and swimming. Yep. It's a little gonna be more versatile. That was just one eating right there. Get into them? Yeah. Go ahead. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Short. Strip in a little. 
and then just pick up nice and slow. You're mainly facing left, so pick up. Yep. Go ahead. Go left. Yep, good. Let it sit for a second. Okay. Mm. That was weird. Hold the person. Not going to the right, going right. Yeah. Try it. Oh, you ate yeah. it. Yeah. Nice job. So that was good. Good job. Excellent, mate. So this is uh, a little crab pattern that uh, Justin's put in or swapped to for that in that schooling sort of system when they're in there. They're very aggressive towards crabs, and I guess they, um, as a group, they're all digging up that sand and, and really sifting through, and whatever has substance to it, they're taking. Try to keep them away from the back of the boat. Just yep. try to steer him whichever direction, but away from the back. They're just like a little bulldozer, aren't they? You know, and, and no doubt the larger they get, they would. Oh yeah. Go. Yeah, I mean yeah. into your backing without a problem. Yeah. But we're doing baby steps, you know, we're getting the little ones first. We're trying to. Then, you know. yeah. This is a slightly lighter rod too. This is a seven weight you know, in the, uh, the Scott. It's a beautiful rods, aren't they? You use oh, a lot yeah. of Scots. And there we go. Leave him over to you, mate. Beautiful. Good. Nice fish. Took that crab like it owed him money. Yeah. Well done. Beautiful. Sent him home to grow up to be a big one. Yeah. So when these uh, other guys come over to fish with you, mate, they can get him in a couple of years' time, and he'll be twice as big. Beautiful. That's it. Well done, mate. Good job. Eyes again. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. There you go. That's redfish for you. Magnificent. Mm -hmm. right. Yep. Freak. Get the fly there. Yep. Careful. Behind them. Oh, there's more fish there. Shit, shit. Nice. Oh, yeah. There we go. I didn't see those fish. Yeah. That's what, it, that's what a good angler does, eh? <laughs> well, I didn't either, mate, until the fly did the water. But that worked out pretty good. I'll take eh? it. Yeah. Check, 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 check. There's three or four there. Yeah. yeah. I was actually cast, they were pulling you over here because I was seeing color in the water, but then we saw that trout. Yep. Well, that was, yeah. A much more aggressive that that was I guess competition be, feed over yeah. last fish. And a bait fish pattern as opposed to the crab that probably can't swim as fast, so they've got to be much quicker, yeah. Well they don't want to exert a lot of energy to eat in this hot water either, so yep. a bigger meal. Yeah. There you go, well he's actually a bit smaller than what the other ones were, but for some reason, had a bit more go on him. We'll bring him around the side. That was interesting. He's a bit smaller. Yeah, well, just yeah. But but he had more go in them than the others. Yeah. I don't want to hold him out of the water too long. Yeah, for sure. That's interesting. That spot, isn't it? That they would see on that tail as another eye. Right. Yeah, and that's part of their, uh, um, when if they're ambushed or whatever, they're going to, yeah. Yeah, if a away. predator or a dolphin's going to come in to attack, they'll yeah. go for the tail first. Gives them a few extra seconds to get away. Yeah, great. Excellent, mate, again. Well done. Beautiful. I love this red fishing. You know, get a good yeah. guide.
it's just when you're a superstar, mate. So, uh, yeah, well, I think that's about all we've got time for today. The sun's uh, getting pretty hot, it's a bit late in the day, but it's been fantastic. What you've got out here, like in your office, that you, you work in every day, is just amazing. You know, yeah. you're pretty, pretty lucky. It's the scenery, you can see there's no, there's no development around this due to the property of NASA where it is. And yeah. We're inside of a wildlife refuge here. So there's tons of wildlife plus the fishing. Yes, yes, that's outstanding. So I think that's all we've got time for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been great fun fishing with this camp. So if you want to get some good guiding, you can get over here and spend some time. It's just well worth it. You're going to really love it. So thanks, mate. I appreciate it. Thanks, mate.